Hey everybody, in this video we're going to pick up where we left off with a previous video where we set up Vicon to track a video camera in our virtual production studio. In that video we calibrated a camera crown and also the lens of the camera through the Vicon system using our active wand. I'll provide a link to that video in the description of course, but we're going to pick up now where we left off with Calibrating our lens encoder and then getting all of our data from both Vicon and the lens encoder into Unreal Engine for use in virtual production. Perfect. So now if Matt's back, uh, Matt, if you move that camera back and forth in Vicon, we should see it move. Awesome. All right. So now Vicon is tracking the camera through the movement of the camera crown. That's great. So our next thing that we're going to want to track data-wise is information about the lens. I don't know if Laura is available to help me out. Um, so uh, what we're going to do here is essentially calibrate our lens encoder. So if, yet, if you wouldn't mind coming to the back here a little bit. So here on the back of our camera is our digital camera systems, DCS uh, lens encoder. And this is receiving data from multiple encoders that are on our lens back here. So this is one example. Hopefully we can see that. Um, and when a value on our manual lens is moved, the encoder rotates as well. So that data is going to the back into this computer. And this is going to be able to translate that data of the rotations into what is our lens settings. So we're going to go into calibrating that, and we'll see how this goes. So I'm just using a little joystick menu selector here. I'm going to hit calibrate, and then uh, Laura and I are going to work on the lens, just kind of dialing the values back and forth as fast as we can to get calibrate to work. So uh, ready to go, and hit calibrate, and go ahead. And hopefully, yeah, you can see how that's rotating. All right, we're good. So if uh, yeah, you want to come around and film the back of this for a second. So now that our lens is calibrated, uh, any adjustment of focus or zoom or iris is being recorded by this device. And we can transmit that over Ethernet if we had an Ethernet wire. So Laura's going to go into the equipment room and get us an Ethernet wire. And I'm trying to remember what value we had this lens focused on. I think it was it two or was it four? Two looks good. Okay. So another thing to notice about this readout is that it's using a mathematical equation to read our T value for our aperture. And with that T value, it's also calculating the entire depth of field in terms of focus. So 1.75 mil, mil, 1.75 meters to 2.21 meters should be in focus while our lens is set to 1.95. I'm going to try and get that to uh, 2 meters exactly. There we go. And Isaiah is nicely in focus. So there we go. So we've got this calibration set. And the only final piece to um, finish our setup, thank you so much, Laura, is that our uh, lens encoder has an Ethernet connector here. And this will connect it to the network. And um, as a quick check now, we know the IP address of the Vicon machine. I can check the IP address of our lens encoder by going into the menu system, this little blue button, hopefully this button here, and going down to settings and finding network and scrolling down to the local IP address 192.168.0.85. Okay. So this is the IP address, Ethernet address, that I'll need to tune into to listen to the data from this when we get back to Unreal Engine. OK, so camera tracking position is set up. Camera tracking lens encoding is set up. So now what I'm going to do is start setting things up in Unreal Engine to receive that information. So I'm able to show that screen because we're, we're feeding that into our recording. Uh, one of the things that I am going to need is the exact dimensions of the sensor in the Blackmagic camera. That sensor is available, that information is available on the Blackmagic site. And we have a Blackmagic Studio camera 4K Pro G2. So I can scroll down here in the tech specs and under camera features, I see that the sensor size is 17.78 
millimeters by 10 millimeters. So I'll copy that information and then alt tab over to our Unreal Engine scene. And here I have the camera selected that we're going to use. So we're going to use this Cine camera. And under the camera settings here, I have a film back section. So if I expand that, I have a sensor width of Control-V paste, our 17.78. And we want this to be 10 millimeters in height. So now we have exactly the same uh, oh, it should be just 7, 8, not 7, 7, 8. Oh, it's in centimeters. Okay, so um, we have the correct values here for the dimensions of the sensor chip. And that's important because our lens encoder is sending the actual millimeter values of the lens into the system. So it's going to use the combination of the sensor size and the lens values to create the proper image that we're going to output into our background for our keyer. Um, so I am going to stop our keying output for a moment so that we can start setting up the tracking of our camera. Now this camera is a standard Cine camera in Unreal Engine, but in order to bring our tracking data in, I do have two plugins uh, activated. Both of these plugins are available from the vendors, and I have the plugins menu here. One is Vicon, so the Vicon Data Stream Live Link is available directly from the Vicon website. And then DCS, the Digital Camera Systems plugin, is available. It should be available on FAB. Um, I originally pulled this down from the Unreal Marketplace, so I believe it's available on FAB. So those are both activated, and these are live link plugins that can receive data uh, from, in this case, the DCS lens encoder system, and then, of course, the Vicon system, respectively. So next, I want to make sure that data is coming in via live link. So I'm going to go to Window and choose Virtual Production and Live Link. And here I'm going to set up my source inputs. So I'm going to add a source. And Vicon is here by virtue of the Vicon plugin. The server name is going to be the IP address of that, ser of that computer, which I think is 192.168.0.135. And we'll use the default port for Vicon and say Create. And sure enough, I'm getting two tracks. I'm getting a track for the camera crown and a track for the camera itself. So to drive our Cine camera, I'm going to be using this black magic position to drive the position of the camera. Uh, next, I want the lens information. So I'm again clicking Add Source, choosing DCS this time. I'll create the source and then select that new source. And this new source needs its IP address set and that's the 192.168.0.85 that we saw earlier on the device. I'll give this name uh, DZO because it, the physical lens is a DZO lens and create. And we have a green light on Live Link for that. So we're getting our Live Link data. And also as a test, I can select this DZO source and expand the telemetry and the FIZ, which is focus iris zoom. And these values here should match what we're seeing on the camera. And so if uh, Matt were to go onto the lens there and just adjust focus slightly, for example, uh, we would see that, yep, we're seeing that value change here. So you can set that back to 2. And I know that that data is now coming in through Live Link, so I'm ready to assign it to my camera in Unreal Engine. Now, one thing to know is that the position of the camera is going to be relative to the origin in our physical room here. So the origin in this room is in the center of all of this carpet. It's in between the camera and Isaiah. And so what I'm going to do first is in Unreal Engine is I'm going to create a pivot point or an actor that is going to be our studio origin, 000. So I'm clicking to add something to my level. I'm going to basic and I'm choosing actor. And I will call this actor, um, just pushing F2 to rename it, and I'm going to call it Cine Cam Origin. And that will be corresponding to the 000 point on the floor of this physical studio. So then I'm going to click and drag the actual Cine camera so that it is a child of the Cine camera origin. And that way, all of the position and rotation data we're getting from Vicon will be relative to this origin. So if I click on this origin and hit the end key, for example, now I know it's on the deck of our little aircraft carrier set. Well, it's not. 
So let's take this camera and just move it up and take this and see if, there we go, now it's on the deck. I'm gonna just hit end and see if that, hmm, I don't know if it's the uh, key is not working, but that's okay. I'm just gonna position this right on the deck. And next I am going to ask the Cine camera to receive the Vicon data. So with the Cine camera selected in the scene, I'm going to add a component to the details, and that's going to be a live link component. So I type in the word live, live link controller, and I'm going to say that the subject is the Vicon Blackmagic camera. So I click on the subject and choose Blackmagic, and now this will move with that Blackmagic camera. So if I hit E and swing our origin around, um, there we are. Wow, this is a very tall aircraft. There we are. Um, Matt, if you move the camera back and forth a little bit, we see that moving in Unreal Engine. So you are controlling the Unreal Engine camera now through Vicon. So that'll be rotations. But we still need to set up our lens information. So I'll select the Cine camera again. And again, we see our rotations and everything moving by virtue of Vicon. So finally, I can choose to add another live link component. So I'm choosing add, typing in live, choosing a live link controller. And this time for the second controller, the subject is going to be the DZO. And now the lens settings for this cine camera should follow the values that end up coming in through the DZO. So if I select this camera now and look at the lens values, our current focal length is 30, our aperture is 4.14, and our focus distance is 200 centimeters, two meters. And so again, Matt, if you were to use the focus wheel, you can adjust focus, and we're seeing that change here in Unreal Engine. And if you uh, set that back to around two uh, meters, we should see 200 centimeters here. So very good. So now that's how to get all that tracking data. From now on, we have the camera position and lens settings going into Unreal Engine live. So the final thing that we want to do is feed this into our Ultimat. So right now in our Ultimat, we're receiving the video feed from the camera itself, but we're not giving it a background, and we want to get that background from Unreal Engine. So in this machine, I have a Blackmagic Decklink board. And I've already set up a deck link output uh, asset here. And so if I were to set up a second one, for example, I would right click, go to media, choose Blackmagic Media Output, and I'll call this BMD Out 2 and double click. And so since this is going to be output 2, I would set that this is deck link quad 2. And uh, 30 frames a second free run. So now this second output would be the second output on our deck link quad. Um, I've already set up the first output under BMD, or misspelled, F2, BMD out 01, and Control Shift S to save all of our changes. So output one is configured here, and I'm going to use media capture to capture the viewport of this camera to the Blackmagic output. So this media capture output is available by going to Window and Virtual Production and Media Capture. Now I already have it activated and I've placed it over here. And right now I'm going to do a media viewport capture. I'll delete what I had there before and just create a new one. So I'm going to create a new viewport capture. This capture is going to use the Cine camera. So I'm going to add one camera and choose the Cine camera. And then the output is going to be the Blackmagic 01 output. And then I can hit Capture. And now Unreal Engine is outputting that camera value. And what's interesting is the Cine camera in Unreal is actually showing the scene out of focus based on the depth of field that we have uh, from the lens settings here. So if Matt were to rack focus further away so that the focus settings go further and further away, Isaiah goes out of focus, the aircraft gets into focus. And then you could pull that back to two meters, and we could bring Isaiah into focus, and the lens puts, the Unreal Engine puts the aircraft out of focus. And so that's it. That is the whole setup. We managed to pull that off in, believe it or not, a single take. 
So um, thank you all, students, very much for, for helping out with this demo. I really appreciate it. Uh, hope you enjoyed the demo. And until next time, have fun.